So let's look at simple present. This one is really easy, right? When do we use the simple present? So give me some scenarios. Okay, one is to talk about things that happen or occur regularly. Regularly or often or every day, okay? So let's get a couple of examples with that. I drive to school, uh, let's do this every day, okay? Now, you're seeing just by this word, you guys, that it is something that happens regularly, okay? Regularly. Um, you drive to school, on Fridays, okay? So here's another way of describing or giving more information. Let's look at the negatives, simple present, and we're gonna look at negatives, okay? And this is really good to practice too, because like I said, lots of people get stuck on these and end up making mistakes, okay? So the negative statements, so um, I, we had I drive, and we're gonna, we're gonna use the negative over here. So we're gonna do positive and then negative, okay? I drive, I do not drive, okay? So we're gonna add in this do auxiliary and the negative aspect of that, okay? So that's why I say it's really important to kind of practice this. Now, uh, you drive, you drive goes to the same thing, you do not drive. Okay, let's do she, remember there's always three in this category here. She, he, it, we've got drives is the positive, and when we switch that to negative, she does not drive, okay? She does not drive. All right, let's continue with the plural, and then we'll look at combining these, you guys, and making the plural or the um, contraction, which is a really important thing. This one's kind of like the, the lone man out, <laughs> the one that you kind of have to look out for. Um, you know, and in place of she, it could be like, you know, uh, the bus driver doesn't drive. Okay. You, you know, so you can take this out and put in another third person singular, um, subject there. So this is the subject, right? Let's now look at the contractions and the pronunciation of those contractions. Okay. So do not goes to, we're gonna combine these, the vowel sound changes and we say don't, don't, okay? You don't drive, you don't drive, okay? Um, she doesn't, doesn't. So we're contracting it, we're combining, so two steps happen. The vowel sounds do change and that's what you need to pay attention to. Don't. This one is a little bit easier. Don't. This is the O, long O. Okay, so making sure O, no, show, low, O. Okay, so your mouth is really open or really round. Okay, uh, row, O. Okay, don't. Don't. Okay, another thing that happens with a final T like that is many times we don't fully say the T sound. Okay, so we say don't. Don't, I don't drive. She doesn't, well, doesn't. You don't, don't drive, okay? Don't drive. So, and then back to this one, the pronunciation for this doesn't, it's not do, it's not do, it's duh, uh. So when I write things like this, you guys, with the lines that are slanted, it means the pronunciation or how it sounds. So what we're gonna make here is duh, that's the first sound here, 
The next is, uh, uh, this is, I always say it sounds like when you get punched in the stomach. Uh, duh, doesn't, doesn't, okay? This is the pronunciation of this word. And again, we're not going to fully release that T, doesn't. So I want you guys to write this down and practice it, okay? Write it down and practice it. Don't and doesn't. Okay, doesn't. So making sure that you are pronouncing those words correctly will save a lot of issues or problems with that, okay?